Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft series, The Outpost. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, I'm starting off in a weird spot today because after the last episode, I streamed for a little while and I found a slime chunk. So I uh, dug this little bit out. I'm going to eventually make a slime farm here, but for now, just this is good enough for me. I've got a total of 15 slime balls. Found some more diamonds in there I'll get later. And then I actually filled up a chest full of stuff, so I can't even bring it all back. So, there we go. I'm going to start heading back. I'll show you where I'm at on the way there. I'll tell you what I did during the stream. I uh, went to the nether and died. There was, um, remember that, uh, that thing that happened where I had an uh, invisible creeper and an invisible skeleton? That well, kind of happened in the nether, too. Um, I was at a, I found a blaze farm. And the blazes weren't shooting their fireballs at me, and I didn't know why until I just all of a sudden died. Um, I couldn't see their fireballs, and I couldn't see the damage that I was getting. And uh, yeah, I died. I got all my stuff back, though, because I ran back in there real quick and got all my stuff. Um, all my stuff was invisible, so I think I got it all. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I definitely have a spot for a slime farm and a spot for a, a blaze farm now, or blaze rod farm. So that's super exciting. During that whole excursion, I only got one blaze rod though, so definitely need to go back fairly soon and get some more of that stuff. But we're almost to the top here. I actually built this, uh, or found the slime chunk underneath. I cheated. I went to uh, uh, mineatlas.com and looked up where the slime chunks were and decided to put one underneath the ocean, so it's way out there. And I'm a little bit of a ways from my little village or my little uh, house area, whatever you want to call it. So let's run back there. And uh, there it is, if you can see it in the distance. Not that far, but a little bit. There's still a uh, pillager running around over here somewhere. So i got to avoid that guy, because he will kill me. These guys hit really hard. I keep trying to get him to chase me over to my uh, my iron golem, but he won't follow me that far for whatever reason. Probably because I've got a bunch of villagers hidden in the ground there. Okay, so for this episode... Let's see, sometimes there's pillagers hiding right over here, so I've got to go carefully. I think my golem is still over here somewhere, hopefully. Where's he at? Uh oh. Did he finally leave? Where'd he go? Oh, he was right here. Oh, did he go over to that village because I ran that way again? I bet he did. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I think he did. Well, that sucks real bad. Because he was killing a bunch of pillagers that kept coming to attack me. Well, I might actually have to uh, move those villagers over here. In fact, I might do that this episode. I don't know. I was planning on starting uh, a chicken cooker farm or automatic chicken cooker, whatever you want to call it. I have plenty of these guys. I don't really want them in there anymore because that's really annoying. Plus I need some feathers, so you know what? I'm going to empty out this chest. I'm going to kill some of those guys. How about that? I'll be back. Ooh! That was a few levels. And that one didn't go down. All right. Got plenty of chicken now. Plenty of feathers. Let that fill up and I'll be back. Ooh, my iron golem's back. I guess he didn't leave me. Aw, he's my friend. Yeah, this guy right here has killed, I don't know, maybe 15 pillagers so far. So that's super nice. Glad he decided to come back. Alright. And I also made a full stack of arrows. So that's nice. Might be able to go to the uh, end sometime soon and try to kill that dragon. I've only done that a couple of times, so I'm sure it's going to suck. But I'll probably die a few times, I don't care. It'll happen. 
Okay, so... Let's see what I'm going to do. I need to build a chicken cooker. And my wife actually... <laughs> she saw all those chickens I had crammed in that little space. She's like, what are you doing to those poor chickens? And it made me think this is supposed to be an outpost and I'm supposed to be, you know, on a new planet. And I should have a, a little secret lair where I do experiments on all my... on all the life forms that I find around here. So I figured... I could do that right down here. Maybe I'll make a secret entrance. You know what? It'd probably be easier if I just did it up here. Make a secret entrance over here somewhere. Maybe so I can run down here real fast and just run over here. You know what? Maybe I'll make it right here. I'm going to dig some stuff out and see what's back here. I'll be back. Okay, so right over here, past my uh, entrance to the nether, so I'm going to make a secret entrance right over here. And this room, I'm going to have, this is like the, I don't know, foyer, <laughs> foyer or whatever you want to call it. Um, maybe I'll have like one wing of, uh, you know, automatic chicken cookers and like cow farms, like, you know, all the the farms around torching animals, kind of, you know, if I was, <laughs> if I was new to this world. Maybe over this way I'll have a, uh, a village breeders or maybe, you know, micro regular farms or something like that. And maybe I'll have, uh, you know water elevators going down and take me to different levels and I can do a bunch of different stuff so I think I'll start with that maybe I'll put my chicken farm right over here yeah I think I'll have just like an entrance each wing kinda of maybe this this size right here so I can go into each different area hey look I made that square I didn't even mean to oh, I guess it's not it's one too big on that side it doesn't matter but yeah, I'll have one entrance going that way. Maybe I'll have one going this way, one over here, and one over here, and a couple of a couple of things going down, maybe on this side. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let me get digging again. I'll be back. Okay, I got some little places dug out. Figured I got room for three right here. Also, I think the spider uh, cave spawner is right over here. Cave spider spawner because I hear tons of spiders everywhere. Um, so yeah, down this one, I'm gonna have pumpkin, melon, and uh, the coffee beans and then down these I'm gonna have two on this side and two on this side maybe maybe along the back as well I'm not really sure but sheep pig cow and chicken so all the animals and then down this one's gonna be sugar kelp and bam sugar cane kelp and bamboo um because those are all very similar farms those three are all similar farms and then uh yeah all the pigs down here are the animals down there and then I'm gonna make a little way to go down there and a little way to come back up right over here that way I can have whole stack of different kind of farms and stuff. Maybe I'll have a little uh, a secret lab down here too where I have one of every species. I think that'd be kind of neat. So like one of each flower, one of each tree, a couple cows in a pen, a couple of sheep, you know, like stuff like that. Maybe make it look like their natural habitat so I'd have like grass and trees and stuff down there for them. And like maybe some, uh, this is where my um, village trade trader thing will be. So I'll have one of each profession down there once they once they fix and finish putting out 1.14 and those work again. But yeah, I think I'll uh, start working on the chicken cooker for now because I need me some feathers and some food, basically. I've got 52 here. I think I've got about a half a stack of chicken. And uh, I need more because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it a lot. So let me get started on it. Figure out exactly where I want to put the uh, chicken cooker here. Oh, those cave spiders are annoying. I might have to go down there and try to kill them. Alright, cave spiders. You're gonna die. Or I'm gonna die. One of the two. Hopefully you. I'm scared. Okay, not down that way. Um, they're down here farther? Give it a try. Where are they? Oh, 
Oh, I'll take this though. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in the other way and try to find them because this isn't working. Take all this too. On this side? No, they're down this side. Alright. Found them, so I'm going to try to not die. Some of this stuff. Half of those. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, that was close. So I got rid of the spawner. If I run away from here and I come back, they'll all be dead. <laughs> all despawn. Okay. Let's get all my stuff back. Okay, see if I remember how to do this. Been a while since I made one of these. Those. Okay, so stand on there. Find this one. Oops, not that. The Oh, I need to make droppers, or, uh, dispensers. Okay, I think I got everything I need. I got the dispensers, so let's do this real quick. Actually, I might need to go up one higher. Um, I'm going to have to get up there. Not a big deal, though. Do that for now. Okay, so I might need to go a bit farther back. Now I'm just going to do this. Let's see. So behind that one, this thing, another dispenser. I hope those spiders die soon. And on top of this one, I'm going to have... I got all my eggs ready to go. <laughs> Carpet? Okay, so... And... Back here. Got that. And... I need to get rid of some of these. More iron. All right. I'll fill all these back in later. Get this while I'm here. All right. So on top of that is going to be the comparator. There on the back of this one is going to be that. And then all this stuff around here. Okay, redstone torch, there, top of it will go that, and then on the side of it will go that, top of this one, way too much stuff in my inventory, there's that, there, on top of that one, it's not there, there, there. 
That is actually it for the farm. I just need to block everything in. If I can get down. So you'll have your chickens just in here. But, you know, cap is 24 or something like that. So I'll put as many in there as I possibly can for now. But it's there. Top of that. Yeah, I just gotta come in here and throw a bunch of chickens in there. On this side. These. Get into that one and put this guy. Because how this is supposed to work is when that goes through. Sorry, I gotta light some areas up in here. Um, when the egg comes through here, the it dispensed out and then the lava will go right on top of it and it'll burn any of the adult chickens and that is the chicken farm that's it instead of that I need to put a stair there upside down stair that way this one first thing will be easier there we go right and then on the outside I'll build up the regular details of the wall look kind of nice but yeah I'll be able to come down here just come down the stairs, grab that one, I'll walk ahead, I'll have another farm over here, another one there, there, and there. Should be good to go. Alright, let's block this thing off. Bob in there already, right? Yep, okay. Get some chickens up there, so... Let's figure out how to do that. Let's come up here. Put all that stuff back, but... Let's throw some chickens in there, see what we can get. Okay, I got that all done, and it's all filled in. I've got the max amount of uh, chickens up there, because they're starting to die every time I put more in there. Um, it does take, I believe, 40-something minutes for the chickens to start actually giving me anything down here. Um, it takes 20 minutes for the baby chickens to grow, and then once they lay an egg, it's going to take another 20 minutes until they grow. And then that's when they start dying and getting cooked and stuff. So i got to wait a little while for that. In the meantime, I just did a basic chicken egg farm back here. I've got, I think, only three or four chickens back there because I've already got a ton of eggs and I don't need a lot more. And it doesn't take uh, that many chickens to have a bunch of eggs because they lay them every couple of minutes or something. Um, so I got that all finished off real quick. It's just, uh, yeah, just three chickens and a hopper going into this chest. That's it. Pretty simple to build. And then over here, I'm going to put, on this side, I will put a... Uh, a pig farm and then over here I'm gonna have a uh, sheep and a cow farm real quick so I'm just gonna show you real fast how I build those get rid of that one real quick uh, let's do this one first so this is pretty simple um, first of all I gotta make it flush with that so alright perfect I just need a little bit of space here I'm just gonna dig a little bit out it's basically just gonna take this space up right here and I need to go get a hopper and a chest real fast just to show you so let me get that going well, I saw a hopper in there. Got that perfect chest. I'm gonna go have to go get more wood pretty soon. That here in just a minute. Then do I have any? I'm gonna make a stone fence or something. Does that do a fence? Does not do a fence. Polished? No, not polished. Come on. Stone brick fence. Got a fence. There we go. Or wall, I guess it's called. Doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. Oops. There we go. All right. So this one's pretty simple. Just gonna be a. Uh, gotta have it lined up in the wall there. So that goes there. That's gonna go in there. What we're gonna do is just um, put some cows in here. Maybe a little ladder right on the side. And then uh, I'm gonna make a, a little bit of water dispenser here. Just facing out this way. So I'm going to put a button on here and when I press that button it's going to just push water up here and then the cows are going to get pushed up to the top where I'm going to be able to feed them. So all I need is I'll do one of these. Um, fill this in real fast just so I can do that. Alright. Okay. So what am I trying to do here? It's just going to build up that high. I'm going to change those out in just a second. I'm just going to show you what happened though. But we'll put the cows in there and this thing is going to make them so they can't come out and I'm just going to stand here and feed them wheat. And then once you get uh, too many cows inside this uh, area, uh, 
on the mom cap, they start dying. When a baby cow grows, or when a baby cow pops up in there, an adult cow is going to die, and then you're going to get its raw beef and leather down here. So, pretty simple design. Um, not really much to do with it. So, I'm going to go bring some cows in and get them placed in here. I'll be back. Okay, cows, one at a time. You can do it. Ooh, they did. Nice. Okay, one of you come here. A little closer. And get in there. Get in there. There we go. Now part of my farm. Sorry, but you're probably going to die. No guarantees, but you're probably going to die. I'll have plenty of those guys. Let me that in that place. Put this guy right there. Lock these off. Don't need that anymore. And get rid of these. I guess I should have put a button on there, huh? Button there, can I still climb up? Oh yeah, okay, that'll work. Okay, so I just need to put this in there. Press that button, those guys float up to the top. I just climb up here and feed them. All right, that work? Yeah, sure does. Press that again and they drop down. Okay, that'll work. Simple as that. I'm going to get another one set up and put it uh, right here for sheep. That way I can just use wheat and these guys and potatoes over here. And raw chicken, that means they're dying. They're growing up inside there probably because they take up a little bit more space. At least I'm getting some feathers, so I know that part's working. All right. Nothing in there yet. Okay. I'm going to get another one going. I'll be back. Okay. Got the sheeps in there, and I figured out I can do this. I just need a little bit of light up there. Better for they're here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Those two are done. I should probably turn off their stuff. Buttons up top now, so I can just climb up there real easy. Yeah, that's simple. Cool. That one's done. It's time for some pigs. Make that one real quick. Definitely gotta make it look better, but there we go. I got all my micro animal farms, and we're all set to go. Definitely need to decorate this place up, but yeah, that's a good start for it. Now, what I need to do is make the secret entrance over here. So. Let me get some stuff together and an idea of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it, and I will be back. Okay, so I got everything I think I need for this. So how to build a 2x2 two two sticky piss and door. Go like that. Put those there. Um, just up here, we need to go here, 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 and here, I think. And so I got some stuff down there. Anyway. Got to grab, I don't have a repeater. Let me go grab a repeater quick. I might have something down here. I don't. There we go. Now I got a repeater. Okay. Got that repeater. And so I don't have my stones out here anymore. Okay, so go. Might go wrong, guys, one day. There and then a repeater this way on one tick. There you go. And then this is basically it right here. I mean, I can put a lever there. It's going to close, and I do that again, and it'll open back up. Pretty simple, right? Now we just got to hook it up the way I want it. So, that back. And I'm done with this stuff. Don't need anything else over there, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one there and then put these guys back here so can't even really see in there. Okay. Alright, so 
know what? You could just leave it like this and just, if you hook it up, you're going to be able to run in. It'll open up, you'll run in, and it'll close up right behind you. So that's the whole plan of it right there. You don't even need, you can just see the end of it right or the edge of it right there, and then the rest of it's just going to be all hidden. So let's, ooh, there we go. Lucky find. You can always use more iron. All right, so we got to let this thing power. Uh, let's see. Oh, I want to keep that one there. So, I'm going to run. Don't want that anymore. Let's see. This here, and then I need to make a sticky, or not a sticky, a redstone tor red torch, if I can talk. And we'll put it here. Um, you know what, I think I can actually put it right here. Okay, that's going to keep it closed. Run some redstone down this way. And let's just do this, and I'm going to show you what I mean here. Put one button in. It's going to... Oop! What happened there? What did I do? Why did that not work? Let's see. Oh, that's why. That's too close. So this has to go a little farther away. There. Does that power it? No, it won't. So we'll put that there. We'll get rid of this one. A torch down there. Oh, not a torch down there. Sorry. Up there, redstone there. It's not gonna work either. Okay. Now it opens up. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> All right, uh, that sucked. Okay, well, I got myself stuck in there, but I got to move quicker than that. There we go. See? Now I just can't get my way out, so I'm gonna have to break through here. Okay, that was fun. So, I'm trying to. Time it out so I hit a button somewhere over here because I'm gonna terraform all this cave inside here. Dark, I don't want to go out there right now, but I'm gonna have buttons all over the floor here so when I maybe run by this way, I'll have a button. Um, let's say when I first come down, I put a button right here, and underneath this, this be a line of redstone. Let's see, I need it to line up basically here. So we'll just do this real quick. Here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, right here. Okay. Perfect. So that will lead right over to here, which we can go this way with it. Then, I'm going to need a bunch of repeaters. Time it out. Let's make some of that stuff real fast. Um, Should have enough here. Let me make a bunch real quick. Okay, so I think I got it all figured out here. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I've got, uh, I'll have buttons all over the place. I'm going to terraform a little bit, make it look a little better in here. But I'm going to have one button that only I will know, and I will hit that button and then run. By the time I get over there, it's going to open up, and I can run right through there. Done. Easy. And then on the other side, I'll hit this button and run right out. And it closes back up, and you'll never even know. If that wasn't there, there wouldn't be any sign. You wouldn't be able to tell that it was there. So this is how this worked. For this button over here, you just have a red, redstone signal. You have a repeater on the max uh, ticks. And I have I just put enough in until it timed out perfectly to uh, what I needed to run right over there and get in. And then it just kind of goes up here and goes right into... Oops, can't get up that way. That way too. There we go. And it just goes right into right here. So it's simple as that. That's my way in. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to cover all this up, but for now, I think that's all I got. Uh, and 
Let's see, is there anything else I need to do today? Yeah, let's get back in there and then I'll talk about what's going on with all this stuff and see how much our uh, farms are working. So let's see what's in there. Yeah, timed it perfectly. All right, down here we got our chicken farms and it's definitely working. Definitely working on that one. I haven't... a bunch of zombies and spiders down there still. But yeah, I haven't fed these guys, but I did put a thing in here so I can store a bunch of wheat and potatoes. So I can just come in here after I stock that up, grab some stuff and feed them all. And then eventually they'll start uh, kicking out all their drops. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Be sure to check back more often for videos. Alright, see you later.